Good news this morning for more than a million Floridians dealing with the growing cost of living. The state has denied Citizens Property Insurance Corporation's proposed rate hike, telling the company to come back with something smaller. It might feel like relief for now, but experts say if citizens can afford its bills, especially if another major hurricane hits, all homeowners across the state are going to have to pay the price. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee explains. Like many homeowners, Mary Garst is just trying to survive the many price hikes being thrown at her. Electricity has gone up, gas has gone up, um, groceries have gone up. So this is just a major expense that you have to budget for and compromise what you purchase or when you can purchase things. So it's difficult. In February, Mary received her homeowner's insurance policy statement in the mail. It went from $1,800 to 3,900. It forced her to turn to citizens property insurance. It went down to $2,600. Even that is keeping Mary from doing renovations on her kitchen and bathroom. This house is a 1956 house and it needs to be maintained and um, the pipes need to be worked on. And she says some of her elderly neighbors who own their homes are choosing to go without insurance to save money and afford their AC bills. She says some neighbors are chopping down trees just to better protect their homes from any future damage. It's crazy out there. So many people have gone over to Citizens, a state-backed insurance option that's supposed to be a last resort. Yet out of the seven and a half million property insurance policies in Florida, the company handles 1.3 million. Lisa Miller, the state's former deputy insurance commissioner, says 400,000 is about normal. It's hard for viewers to recognize that citizens needs to be smaller, not bigger. That when citizens has issues with their finances, it it will it'll hit all Floridians. The company proposed a 12% rate increase earlier this year, but the state wonders if it's too high and asks citizens to come back with something smaller. Miller says the rate hike is actually pretty reasonable when you look at the private sector rates going up four or six times that. It's very concerning that if citizens runs out of money and it's not going to tomorrow and it's not going to next month, but there's a possibility of that. All of us as Floridians are going to pay to shore up their finances, and that's not a good place to be. And that's where Miller believes lawmakers in Tallahassee can make a difference. She says one option is helping insurance companies with the cost of reinsurance. That's insurance for the insurance companies. Right now, about 40 cents per every dollar customers pay in premiums goes to the insurance companies to reinsure its companies around the world. We're hoping that the legislature will look at providing some state-backed reinsurance, which could be 10 to 15 cents of every dollar, and that will bring the cost of insurance down because we shrink the cost of reinsurance. Citizens has 30 days or so to submit a new lower rate increase proposal, which it says it plans on doing. Heather Lee, ABC Action.